My name is Clayton J. Reeves. My pronouns are he, him, his. I identify as a male. Uh, I'm white. Uh, I live in Ames, Iowa. I was born in Romania. I've been in other places, but all I remember is mostly living in Iowa. Yes, uh, so I was assigned female at birth and around seventh, eighth grade going on to high school, I came out as trans um, socially and I didn't medically transition till 19. Yes, uh, so I like to be stealth, so not known as trans. I make these YouTube videos and I'm proud and everything, but in uh, real life public, I actually got fired once for being trans, uh, like less than a year ago. And I also, once when I was pre-T, when I was like kind of figuring out that I was trans, I went to a lake, Spring Lake, just like a couple minutes away from my place. And I actually got attacked from a random person I don't know because uh, I was different. Yes, uh, I just recently got top surgery less than a year ago, but before top surgery, I would wear a binder, which is something that just compresses the chest down. And uh, then for downstairs, I wear packing underwear and a packer, which uh, just on various on occasions, it just depends on the day. Mostly now since of the pandemic, I don't really go out that often. So it's kind of a little less now. I actually don't, all I did was just graduate from high school. Uh, I just watch people and I was just a big uh, YouTube fan of watching other trans YouTubers and stuff. And I just love talking. So I, it's a really good thing for me to do. Yeah, um, mostly because I wanted somewhere I could have all my transition stuff. So at first it wasn't for uh, anyone else except for me, it was just to see my own transition and yeah. Uh, I started out making just a transgender videos about my uh, identity and everything about me. And uh, now I just make all types of different kind of videos. Yeah, like I make, uh, I have a girlfriend, so I make some couple videos. I got my two dogs that I like to take videos of. I am really good at cooking, so I make a lot of cooking videos and just pranks and stuff like that. At first, like I said, I just uh, like making videos about me and my transition from female to male. But now, since I got a little more of an audience, I would ask them what they prefer. And so I just look down in the comments. Uh, down in the comments, I look. Uh, some people do DM me, which is cool. I try my best to go through all of them. Um, and also, like, some people add me on Snap. I'm on, like, all different kinds of social media platforms. So there is this one that was, like, I was very proud about. It was, like, half a million. Mm -hmm. It was uh, a prosthetic video that I made. Uh, it's not on there anymore because it got so many views that all the comments, there was a lot of negative comments. So actually like it happened like six months ago, I deleted pretty much all my trans content doing with Packers and stuff like that. Cause I got a lot of hate. Yeah. Um, and recently, you know, I'm now motivated again. I realized I'm going to get hate. So I'm going to post it. So I recently just started posting uh, my transgender content again. So my favorite video would probably be my uh, testosterone updates because I love to look at how I look pre-T to now. Back in the day when I was pre-T, I would hate to look at like pictures of me assigned female at birth. Like it mm -hmm. just kind of wrenched me out and everything. But now being almost three years or so on testosterone, I love looking back. It's actually kind of fun. Yeah, so I use uh, YouTube's my main one that I love to use. Also TikTok and I like Instagram. So I have 10K followers on YouTube and mm -hmm. close to 10K on TikTok. I'm more of a kind of guy that doesn't do like the future. I just kind of go on based on the day and how I'm doing. Uh, but yeah, I do not. I had like a high school class I took, but um, yeah, it happened. I was in high school like five years ago. So uh, I would like... I don't have a lot of money, so I always look how much they are online. I'm like, you know what, I could probably make my own. So I just grab some cheap stuff that I was going to throw away and just try to make something that would work for me. Not really, it's kind of like I said, it's just things that like, like worn out socks that I'm going to throw away anyways, but if I could reuse it, that's the way to go, you know? Uh, not, not really. I got some underwear. So this, I couldn't find the one that I exactly made. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. We're in the middle of moving, so everything's kind of everywhere. So I want to first show you, this is actually one I bought from FTM Essential. It's a trans website. 
this is it and what they're made to. This is actually STP uh, underwear or packing. So it's uh, stand to pee devices and packer devices. And what it is, there's the pouch in for your packer. And if it's an STP, this pouch goes out and then you can just go right through it, which is really cool. I like these. These um, are expensive though, just for like one. It's like, it's like 20 bucks when you could go to the store and buy underwear, like 20 bucks for like five or six of them, you know? Right. Um, this is just some Hanes underwear that I did buy from Walmart. Uh, nothing, nothing new to them. They're just the way they are. But what I would do, so there's like, you know, the slip in right here. Mm -hmm. On one end, I would just sew this one end and just have one end open and maybe close it a bit. Or like if um, me, I'm not like the best at sewing or anything, but you could add like a zipper on it too. So like your packer wouldn't fall out or something like that. And then that's where you just put your packer. And I like to make my own more because like this, like it's a brand everyone knows, you know, like some people would know what kind of like trans brands they are, you know, they kind of make it like a trans name-ish, you know? So if you don't want that to be seen like Hanes, everyone has. Uh, so I, that's why I like using stuff like this, you know? Um, and also here's just another thing. This is actually my buddy made, his name's Max. He made this, he's also trans. Mm -hmm. uh, he has his own website and stuff on Instagram and he makes something like this, which is a harness. And so if you don't want to ruin your underwear that you just bought, you know, brand new underwear that you want to wear, you would put your packer inside this and it has a hole right here for your packer. And then you just tie it like a belt around you. And then you just put your underwear on top of it, which is a really cool device. So uh, you can make it, you know, you can make it uh, look more realistic or less realistic, you know, more products, less product. This obviously isn't like the best, but, um, you know, I made it took like less than 30 minutes, probably even less than that. Uh, just something easy. I did cut it. You don't have to cut your socks. See, like there's just the rest of it. If you don't want to, you know, and like it's a sock you actually like, but you want a packer, you could keep it, just fold it over and use it. Or you can cut it to the size you like. This is around the size I would like. And just a clip, any kind of clip. And one thing cool about like a clip is you could actually clip it to your boxers and then um, you don't have to ruin anything and it could hide there. Or if you do have some packing underwear like I do, you can put it inside that little packing pouch and it works perfectly. And uh, how I made it, it's just some kind of um, fluffy cotton. And I actually just got it when uh, Christmas was clearance and it was just 10 cents for the cotton. So it's, it's really cheap. Yeah, it's pretty much just uh, things that I don't use anymore. Or like I said, the cotton in this was 10 cents. Like I wasn't even thinking about buying anything like that, but. I went down the Clarence aisle after Christmas and it was 10 cents. So I, I bought it. So it was very cheap. I like to stay on the cheap budget. And so, like I said, like, uh, if I did modificate this, like, obviously these are just normal underwear, but, uh, the first time I did also sew the outside, which kind of looked like it obviously looked like I sewed it, you know? And if I went to like a gym, you know, planet fitness and was changing or something, I feel like that's something someone would see and be like, what, what is happening? You know? So I'd rather do like the inside, always do with the inside. Cause obviously no one's going to see the inside. It's better to do it that way. Or just like, um, my packing pouch, um, you don't know what size you want to be. So that's why I would just get a clip instead of sewing it, which you could, if you like the size, but, um, way like this is you could find the size you like just clip this or you could also take the cotton out and you can all always just throw it in the laundry you know and then put the cotton back in and stuff like that i like to take like 30 is 30 minutes is like the max or less because uh why i make these is just for uh cheap easy affordable ways you know like i don't want something that's going to take me take all my time out if it's going to take too much time i could just you know, buy something a little more expensive and then have more time to work or make that money up. Yeah, I just uh, mostly make them wherever, you know. I have not, uh, like I said, I do have a buddy that has his own company, a little business that I like, and he also um, gives me some, so he kind of does that. I'm more of just making my own, just for my channel and stuff. Yeah, I have not. I just uh, make DIY videos for other people just to know how to make them. Um, yeah, I like to uh, make these kind of stuff. So I usually look in the comments below too of things that people like if they like harnesses and they want to see me make a DIY like I showed you my buddy Max has some but I can make my own for a YouTube video if that's what people want to see. Uh, it's kind of up to my audience and see what they're di more dysphoric about and what I can help them kind of um, alleviate the dysphoria. Um, no, I have not. 
I make these videos to help my um, audience and also just help me out too, because uh, obviously like the thing with my um, views now, like uh, people actually send me products for free to review them. But back, back when I first started, I didn't get all these products for free. I actually had to um, pay, but I didn't have enough money. So I would make just stuff like this, which also worked just as a real prosthetic would. Yeah. Uh, so where I film, like we just got a new apartment. So right now I'm kind of just filling out everywhere where I'd like, but like I did have a, a little apartment of myself by myself before this one. And I actually had like a little uh, room for trans. I had my trans flags up uh, and stuff like that, which I really like. Hopefully I'll find a little place in here to do it. And just editing for now, since um, I don't have enough money to buy all those apps and all those cool apps and stuff. I just use uh, iMovie to edit. Yep. And then um, to edit my thumbnails, uh, it's called, what is it called? Also? No, it's called, uh, okay. Fonto. Fonto. It's called Fonto, the uh, place that I edit my thumbnails. My favorite part, so like I said at first, it wasn't even for other people. It was literally for me. I didn't even think people would find me. You know, I live in a small town, um, so it was pretty cool having people find me. So now uh, it's awesome seeing everyone. So like I would get DMs all the time from people, ages, anything, like like 10 all the way up to like 30, 40, 50, you know, it's any kind of ages saying, you helped me come out, you helped me um, like make DIYs and everything. And I'm just helping them in their life, which is like weird. I never thought I would help other people. And it kind of just make it brightened my day. Yes. It's, um, I feel like it's activism for the LGBT community, but mostly the trans community. I help out them and um, it brings us all together. Yeah. Uh, like I said, my, uh, my best friend Max, he's also trans. He's from California. So we met from YouTube, which is amazing. I made a lot of uh, new YouTube, YouTuber friends and just uh, trans people that aren't YouTubers in general. I've had no people that I knew that are part of the LGBT community, not a lot, uh, living here in small town Iowa. But after uh, making these YouTube videos, I've learned, heard, and like became all friends with a lot more trans people. And it's, it's, it helps me out too, because um, just having another trans person in my life does help out. Yeah, uh, like I said, um, just knowing that I'm helping others uh, with just things that like, I, I wish I could have had like a YouTuber like me uh, back in the day, helping out, telling me how to come out to my family, telling me that I have support if my family don't support me. And um, knowing like, I didn't know anything about uh, Packers or any kind of FTM prosthetics. Uh, when I was a kid. So like if I had someone like me when I was a kid, uh, that would be awesome. Uh, I don't think there's that much negativity about it. But like I said, obviously, like there's not a lot of people that uh, support LGBT people, mostly trans. Um, so I do get a lot of hate comments. And that's what I said, like, I had a lot of my videos do go viral and big. And just because I got all those negative comments, I took them down, even though I did have a lot of comments saying you helped me like, thank you. I'm glad I found you. Uh, I still took those videos down. Um, I'm like now, nowadays, today, I obviously have more trans videos up and I'm more in a better head mind, but like it uh, kind of sucks that there's other people that are there trying to bring me down.